but this is where we are. Oh, how you lift your rusty brow, little thoughts and weight of the jam down. We
I've heard for years to Wittenberg he went. So much he profits in divinity that shortly he was graced with doctor's name, excelling all. And sweetly can dispute in the heavenly matters of theology, till swollen with cunning of a self-conceit, his waxen wings did mount above his reach. And melting heavens conspired his overthrow. And glutted now with learning's golden gifts. Nothing so sweet as magic is to him, which he prefers before his chiefest bliss. And this the man that in his study sits. <laughs> Settle thy studies, Faustus, and begin to sound the depth of that thou wilt profess. Is to dispute well logic's chiefest end? Affords this art no greater miracle? Then read no more. Thou hast attained that end. Be a physician, Faustus. Heap up gold and be eternized for some wondrous cure. Why, Faustus, hast thou not attained that end? Are not thy bills hung up as monuments whereby whole cities have escaped the plague? Physic, farewell. Divinity is best. Jerome's Bible, Faustus, you are well. The reward of sin is death. That's hard. <laughs> <laughs> what doctrine call you this? Que sera, sera? What will be, shall be? Divinity idea. These metaphysics of magicians, aye, these are those that Faustus most desires. All things that move between the quiet poles shall be at my command. Emperors and kings are but obeyed in their several provinces, but his dominion that exceeds in this stretcheth as far as doth the mind of man. Wagner, commend me to my dearest friends. Request them earnestly to visit me. I will, sir. Oh, Faustus, lay thy damsel beside, and gaze not on it, lest it tempt thy soul. Go forward, Faustus, in that famous art, wherein all nature's treasure is contained. Be thou on earth, as Jove is in the sky. How am I glutted with conceit of this? Shall I make spirits fetch me what I please? Perform what desperate enterprise I will? I'll have them wallow Germany with brass. I'll have them fill the public schools with silk. I'll levy soldiers with the coin they bring and reign sole king of all the provinces. Valdez, sweet Valdez. And Cornelius. <laughs> no future words have won me at the last. Both law and physic are for petty wits. Tis magic, magic that hath ravished me. Then gentle friends aid me in this attempt. Faustus, these books, thy wit, and our experience shall make all nations to canonize us. So shall the spirits of every element be always serviceable to us three. The miracles the magic will perform will make thee vow to study nothing else. The spirits tell me that they can dry the sea and fetch the treasure of all foreign wrecks, yea, all the wealth that our forefathers hid within the massy entrails of the earth. Then tell me, Faustus, what shall we three want? Nothing, Cornelius. Oh, this cheers my soul! Then haste thee to some solitary grove, and whatsoever else is requisite. We will inform thee ere our conference cease. Faustus, first let him know the words of art, and then all other ceremonies learned. Faustus may try his coming by himself. I wonder what's become of Faustus. I was wont to make our school ring with sick proto. That we shall presently know. Here comes his boy. How now, Sarah? Where is thy master? God in heaven knows. Why does not that know Yes, I know, but that follows not. Go to, Syrup, leave your guessing and tell us where he is. That follows not by force of argument, which you, being licentiates, should stand upon. Therefore acknowledge your error, and be attentive. Then you will not tell us? You are deceived, for I will tell you. Truly, my dear brethren, my master is within at dinner with Valdis and Cornelius. As this wine, if it could speak, would inform your worships. And so, the Lord bless you, preserve you, and keep you, my dear brethren. Oh, Faustus, then I fear that which I have long suspected, that thou art fallen into that damned art for which they two are infamous through the world. But, come, let us go and inform the rector. It may be his great counsel may reclaim him. I fear me nothing will reclaim him now. Now that the gloomy shadow of the night leaps from the Antarctic world unto the sky, and dims the welkin with her pitchy breath. Faustus, begin thine incantations, and try the utmost magic can perform. Sint mihi dii, acherontis propiti, ipse nunc surgat nobis dictatus Mephistopheles. Shape 
becomes a devil fest. <laughs> Now, Faustus, what wouldst thou have me do? I charge thee wait upon me whilst I live to do whatever Faustus shall command. I am a servant to great Lucifer, and may not follow thee without his leave. Did not he charge thee to appear to me? No. I came hither on my own accord. Did not my conjuring speeches raise thee speak? That was the cause, but yet per accidents. For when we hear one rack the name of God, we fly in hopes to get his glorious soul. Nor will we come unless he use such means whereby he is in danger to be dead. Is not that Lucifer an angel once? Yes, Faustus, the most dearly loved of God. How comes it then that he is prince of devils? Oh, by aspiring pride and insolence for which God threw him from the face of heaven. And what are you that live with Lucifer? And happy spirits that fell with Lucifer, conspired against our God with Lucifer, and are forever damned with Lucifer. Where are you damned? In hell. <laughs> How comes it then that thou art out of hell? Why, this is hell, nor am I out of it. Thinkst thou that I, that's on the face of God, and tasted the eternal joys of heaven, am not tormented with ten thousand hells and being deprived of everlasting bliss? Go bear these tidings to great Lucifer, seeing Faustus hath incurred eternal death by desperate thoughts against Jove's deity. Say he surrenders up to him his soul, so he will spare him four and twenty years having thee ever to attend on me, to give me whatsoever I shall ask, and always be obedient to my will. I will, Faustus. Had I as many souls as there be stars, I'd give them all for Mephistopheles. Come here, that Sarah boy. Boy? Oh, <laughs> disgrace to my person, swoon's boy in your face! Sarah, hast thou no comings in? Yes. And goings out too, you may see, sir. Alas, poor slave, see how pop jest in his nakedness. I know the villain's out for service, <laughs> and so hungry that I know he would give his soul to the devil for a shoulder of mutton, though it were blood raw. Sirrah, wilt thou be my man and wait on me, and I will make thee go like ki mihi disciples. What? <laughs> no, slave. If thou dost not presently bind thyself to me for seven years, I'll turn all the lice about thee into familiars, and make them tear thee in pieces. Nay, sir, you may save yourself a labor there, too. Familiar with me already. Soon as they're as bold with my flesh as if they had paid for their meat and drink. Compare thyself, for I will presently raise up two devils to carry thee away! <laughs> Belcher! Let your Balliol and your Belcher come here, and I'll knock them. They were never so knocked since they were devils. <laughs> say I should kill one of them. What would folks say? Do you see yonder tall fellow? Round <laughs> slop? Yes, kill the devil! Yeah! <laughs> and so I should be called Kill Devil. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> or anything. A dog, or a cat, or a mouse, or a rat. Oh, bright white. Helen, call me Master Wagner. Well, sir, I warrant you. Now, Faustus, must thou needs be damned? Canst thou not be saved? Why waverest thou? If something sounded in mine ear, I bejure this magic. Turn to God again. Why he loves thee not, the God thou serves thine own appetite. Now tell me, what saith Lucifer thy lord? That I shall wait on Faustus fast he lives, so he may buy my service with his soul and write a deed of gift in thine own blood. What good will my soul do thy lord? Enlarge his kingdom. But tell me, Faustus, shall I have thy soul? Oh, my Mephistopheles, I give it thee. Then, Faustus, stab thine arm courageously, and bind thy soul so that at some certain day great Lucifer may claim it as his own. Lo, Mephistopheles, for love of thee, <coughs> Faustus hath cut his arm and with his proper blood assures his soul to be great Lucifer's. My blood can juice and I can write no more. Is it unwilling I should write this spill? Ah! Faustus gives to thee his soul. Oh, there it stayed. Or shouldst thou not, is not thy soul thine own? Then write again. Faustus gives to thee his soul. Shall speak, Mephistopheles. Nothing, Faustus, but to delight thy mouth. But may I raise such spirits when I please? I, Faustus, and do greater things than these. And Mephistopheles, receive this scroll. Faustus, I swear by hell and Lucifer to effect all promises between us both. So now, Faustus. Ask me what thou wilt. Tell me, where is the place that men call hell? Under the heavens. Aye, <laughs> so are all things else but whereabouts. Well, hell hath no limits, nor is circumscribed in one self place. But where we are is hell, and where hell is, there must we ever be. And to be short, when all the world dissolves, and every creature shall be purified, all places shall be hell that are not heaven. I think hell's a fable. <laughs> I think so still, till experience change thy mind. <laughs> Why? Dost thou think that Faustus shall be damned? <laughs> <laughs> These are trifles and mere old wives' tales. But I am an instance to prove the contrary. And thinks thou that heaven is such a glorious thing? I tell thee, Faustus, it is not half so fair as thou or any man that breathes on earth. How proofst thou that? It was made for man, then he's more excellent. If heaven was made for man, it was made for me. I will renounce this magic and repent. Faustus, never shall repent. My heart is hardened. I cannot repent. Scarce can I name salvation, faith, or heaven. Swords, poisons, halters, and in venom steel are laid before me to dispatch myself. And long ere this I should have done the deed, had not sweet pleasure conquered deep despair. Come, Mephistopheles, let us dispute again. Now tell me, who made the world? I will not. Sweet Mephistopheles, tell me, move me not, Faustus. Villain, have I not found thee to tell me anything? I that is not against our kingdom, this is! Thou art damned, think thou of hell! I, thou accursed spirit, to ugly hell! Thou hast damned the stress of Faustus' soul. It's not too late. <laughs> too late. Never too late, if Faustus will repent. Oh, Christ. 
Christ, my Savior, my Savior. Come, come, conjure 
for my mistress hath done it. <laughs> but, I prithee, tell me in good sadness, Robin, is that conjuring book? Do but speak what thou hath me do, and I'll do it. If thou dance naked, put off thy clothes, and I'll conjure thee about presently. <laughs> or, if thou but go to the tavern with me, I'll give thee white wine, red wine, sack, musketry, mouthy, and whipping grass. Hold, belly, hold, and will not pay one penny for it. Oh, brave! Pretty, let's do it presently, for I am as dry as a dog. Come then, let's away. <laughs> Learned Faustus, to find the secrets of astronomy, did mount him up the scale of Olympus top. Where? Sitting in a chariot, burning bright. Drawn by the strength of Yotage dragon snacks. He views the clouds, the planets, and the stars. From, from east, east to west. west, his dragons swiftly glide. And in eight days they bring him home again. But new exploits do hail him out again. And as I guess, we'll first arrive at Rome. <laughs> <laughs> but tell me now, what resting place is this? This is the goodly palace of the Pope. I hope his holiness will bid us welcome. All's one, for we'll be bold with his venison. This day is held throughout Rome and Italy in honor of the Pope's triumphant victory. Then in this show let me an actor be, that this proud Pope may Faustus cunning see. <laughs> Some 
ghost crept out of purgatory.
But where is Bruno, our elected pope, that on a fury's back came close from Rome? Will not his grace consort the emperor? Oh, yes, and in comes the German conjurer, the learned Faustus, Fay of Wittenberg, the wonder for the world of magic art. Where's the bow? <laughs> Fast asleep, I warn you. He took his rouse with stoops of Rhenish wine, so kindly yesterday to Bruno's house that all this day the sluggard keeps his bed. <clears throat> what ho, Bimbolio? What a devil ail you two? Speak softly, sir, lest the devil hear you. For Faustus at the court is late arrived, and at his ill a thousand years wait to accomplish whatsoever the doctor please. What of this? Come, we by chamber first, and thou shalt see the conjurer perform such rare exploits before the Pope and royal emperor as never yet was seen in Germany. Has not the Pope enough of conjuring yet? He was upon the devil's back late enough, and if he be so far in love with him, I would, he would post with him to Rome again. Speak, wilt thou come and see this sport? Not I. <coughs> the emperor is at hand who comes to see what wonders by black spells may come to speak. Thrice learned Faustus, welcome to our Lord. This deed of thine in setting Bruno free shall add more excellence under thine arts than if by powerful necromantic spell thou couldst command the world's obedience. Thou shalt be famous in all of Italy and honored of the German Emperor. My gracious sovereign, I am content to do whatsoever your majesty shall command me. Blood. He speaks terribly, but for all that I do not greatly believe him. He looks as like a conjurer as the Pope to a costermonger. Then, Faustus, as thou late didst promise us, uh, would we behold the famous conqueror, great Alexander, and his paramour, that we may wonder at their excellence? <laughs> Your Majesty shall see them presently. <laughs> <laughs> well, Master Doctor, and your devils come not away quickly, you shall have me asleep presently. I'll make you feel something now if my arch failing now. Be it as Faustus please, we are content. Aye, aye, and I am content too. And thou bring Alexander and his paramour before the emperor, I'll be Acteon, and turn myself to a stag. And I'll play Diana, and send you the horns presently. Nay, and you go to conjuring, I'll be gone. These are but shadows, not substantial. Oh, <laughs> pardon me, my thoughts are so ravished that in my arms I would have come this way. Oh wait, be gone. What? Well, come, dear uh, highness, now to send for uh, the night that was so pleasant with me here of late. What are you calling for? Why, I had thought thou hadst been a bachelor, but now I see thou hast a wife. <laughs> <laughs> that not only gives thee horns, but makes thee wear them. Feel on thy head.
Nay, sweet Benvolio, let us sway thy thoughts away from this attempt against the conjurer. Away? You love me not to urge me thus. Shall I let slip so great an injury when every servile groom jests at my wrongs? Benvolio's head was graced with horns today? Oh, may these eyelids never close again till with my sword I have that conjurer slain. If you will aid me in this enterprise, then draw your weapons and be resolute. If not, here will Benvolio die. But Faustus' death shall quit my infamy. Nay, we will stay with thee, betide what may, and kill that doctor if he come this way. Then, gentle Frederick, hide into the grove and place our servants and our followers close in ambush there behind the trees. I saw him kneel and kiss the emperor's hand and take his leave laden with rich rewards. If Faustus die, take soldiers the wealth, leave us the victory. Come, soldiers, follow me into the grove. Who kills him shall have gold and endless love. Where shall we place ourselves, Manvolio? Here will we stay to buy the first assault. Close, close, the conjurer is at hand. For horns he gave, I'll have his heaven not. See, see, he calls. No words. This blow ends all. Hell, take his soul. His body thus must fall. Yes! Oh! Throne you, Master Doctor. Break <laughs> his heart with thrones. Dear Frederick, see thus will I and his griefs immediately. Strike with a willing hand. Yeah. Yeah. His head is off. The devil's dead. The fury's now made loud. <laughs> Was this that stern aspect, that awful frown, made the grim monarch the infernal spirits tremble and quake at his commanding charms? Come, let's devise how we may add more shame to the black scandal of his hated name. First, on his head, quitted of my wrongs, I'll nail huge forked horns and let them hang so all the world may see my just revenge. What shall the eyes do? We'll pull out his eyes, and they shall serve as buttons to his lips to keep his tongue from catching cold. What shall the body do? Zoom! Ah! The devil will lie to him! Give his head back for God's sake! Nay! <laughs> keep it! Faustus will have heads and hands. I, all your hearts, to recompense this deed. Knew you not, traitors, I was limited for four and twenty years to breathe on earth. And had you cut my body with your swords? <coughs> Yet in a minute had my spirit returned. Go! Horse these traitors on your fiery backs, and mount aloft with them as high as him! Thence pitch the red one to the lowest hell! Fly hence, dispatch my charge immediately. Pity us, gentle Faustus, save our life! Make haste to help these noble gentlemen. I heard them parley with the conjurer. See where he comes, dispatch and kill the slave. What's here? An ambush to betray my life. Then Faustus, try thy skill. Come, my masters, I'll bring you to the death, Peter. Your blood hall houses 
They should be good, for they come from a far country, I can tell you. <laughs> and trust me, they are the sweetest grapes that e'er I tasted. Oh, 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 oh. What rude disturbers have we in the gate? Why, how now, masters? What a coil is there? What is the reason you disturb the duke? We have no reason, therefore, a bait for him! Bait, 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 bait! What would they have? They all cry out to speak with Dr. Faustus.
For gentle son, I speak not in wrath or envy of thee, but in tender love and pity of thy future misery. Where art thou, Faustus? Wretch, what hast thou done? Stay, good Faustus, stay thy desperate steps. I see an angel hover over thy head with a vial full of precious grace, offers to pour something into thy soul. They call for mercy and avoid despair. Leave me a while to ponder on my sin. I do repent, and yet I do despair. Torment, sweet friend, that face an aged man that does sway me from thy Lucifer. His faith is great. I cannot touch his soul. One thing, servant, let me pray with thee, that heavenly Helen which I saw of late, whose sweet embraces may extinguish queen, who sought to do dissuade me from my vow. This well, whate'er else my Faustus shall desire shall be performed in the twinkling of an eye. Is this the face that launched a thousand ships and burnt the topless towers of Ilium? Sweet Helen, make me immortal with a kiss. Her lips suck forth my soul, see where it flies. Come, Helen, come, give me my soul again. Here will I dwell, for heaven is in these lips. Oh, thou art fairer than the evening air, clad in the beauty of a thousand stars. Thus from infernal disunity ascend to view the subject of our monarchy, those souls which sing seals the black sun of hell, among which as Faustus, we come to thee, bringing with us lasting damnation. Here in this room will wretched Faustus be, and here will stay to mark how he doth demean himself. Well, how should he be but in desperate lunacy? Fond, wobbling, now his heart blood dries with grief. His conscience kills it. And his laboring brain begets a world of idle fantasies to overreach the devil. But all in vain. Say, Wagner, thou hast perused my will. How dost thou like it? Sir, so wondrous well. As in all humble duty I do yield my life and lasting service for your love. Generously, Wagner. Welcome, gentlemen. Oh, my dear Faustus, he thinks your looks are changed. Oh, gentlemen, what ails Faustus? Ah, oh, my sweet chamber fellow, had I lived with thee, then had I lived still, but now I die eternally. Oh, sirs, come see not, come see not. What imports this fear? He is not well with being over solitary. If it be so, we'll have physicians, and Faustus shall be cured. Tis but a serpent, sir, fear nothing. Surfeit of deadly sin that hath damned both body and soul. Yet, Faustus, look up to heaven and remember mercy is infinite. But Faustus' offense can ne'er be pardoned. The serpent that tempted Eve may be saved, but not Faustus. Yet, Faustus, call on God. On God whom Faustus hath abjured. On God whom Faustus hath blasphemed. I would lift up my hands, but see, they hold him. Hold them. Who, Faustus? Oh, gentlemen, I gave them my soul for my cunning. Oh, God forbid! God forbid it indeed, but Faustus hath done it. Why did not Faustus tell us of this before? Gentlemen, away, lest you perish with me. God will strengthen me. I will stay with Faustus. Tempt not God, sweet friend, but let us into the next room and pray for him. Pray thou. And we will pray that God may have mercy upon thee. Ay, Faustus, now thou hast no hope of heaven. O oh, thou bewitching fiend, for thy temptation hath robbed me of eternal happiness. I too confess it, Faustus, and rejoice. Twas I that when thou burned the way of heaven, damned up thy passage. And when thou tookst the book to view the scriptures, then I turned the leaves and led thine eye. 
What weepest thou? Tis too late to spare farewell. Fools that will laugh on earth must weep in hell. O oh, Faustus, hadst thou given ear to me, innumerable joys had followed thee. But thou didst love the world. Gave ear to me, and now must taste hell pain perpetually. O oh, thou hast lost celestial happiness, pleasures unspeakable bliss without end. Hadst thou affected sweet divinity, hell or the devil had no power on thee. Hadst thou kept on that way, that hast thou lost. And now, poor soul, must thy good angel leave thee. The jaws now. of hell are open to receive thee. Now, Faustus, let thine eyes with horror stare. There are the furies tossing damned souls on burning boards. Their bodies boil in lead. There are live quarters broiling on the coals that ne'er can die. This ever-burning chair is for our tortured souls to rest them in. But yet all these are nothing. Thou shalt see ten thousand tortures that more horrid be nay. Thou must feel them. Take the smart of all. He that loves pleasure must for pleasure all. No, hath thou but one bare hour to live. Stand still, you ever-moving spheres in heaven. The time may cease, the midnight never come. The stars move still, the time runs, the clock will strike. Oh, I up to heaven, who pulls me down? Oh, if my soul must suffer for my sin, impose some end to my incessant pain. Let Faustus live in hell a thousand years, a hundred thousand, and at last be saved. Cursed be the parents that engendered me. No, Faustus, curse thyself. Curse Lucifer that did deprive thee of the joys of heaven. It strikes, it strikes. No body turn to air, no soul be changed into small water drops and fall into the ocean. There we go! For mercy, heaven, let me breathe a while. Oh, please, thou do not come, thou Lucifer. I'll burn my books. Oh, let us stop, please! Apollo's laurel bow, that sometime grew within this learned man. Faustus is gone. The guard is hellish fault. Whose fiendful fortune may exhort the wise only to wonder at unlawful things, whose deepness doth entice such forward wits to practice more than heavenly power permits.